going on guys? I got a new toy. Well, actually, I got it for Christmas. It's a Tiger Claw uh, sine wave inverter, 1500 watt. And uh, kind of wanted to get a video of it tore apart. Um, another person on, a couple people on YouTube, uh, Nolan, R, Nolan R24 and Xboxer1985. He's made reviews and videos of these. Um, neither one really has, you know, tore, you know, tore apart one of these, you know, to a great extent. Kind of give you an idea of what's inside, and also I like to compare it to another inverter. But some things about it. Um, you can see really well um, the output capacitors are 470 microfarads, 200 volt. Um, as far as the input the input board, you can see the items that's on the uh, output board. And right here is a Syntec converter. Um, I, probably, I pretty much just got this out to compare the two. And you can tell that they are made by the same manufacturer. And uh, output capacitor on it are 330 microfarads, 200 volt. And both of them seem to have. Uh, I'll go ahead and flip it. I actually took this apart for more than just one, you know, one reason. I wanted to make a video. Plus, I also spray paint these boards. I have to take these heat sinks off and take the board loose from the bottom. It's kind of a pain in the butt design, but um, I spray paint with acrylic clear coat, uh, acrylic paint, clear, and uh, kind of, you know, so it seals the board. And this goes out in a garage, so it's not heated. So it helps protect it from rusting up and corroding and all that. But uh, this is the OSP Tire Claw, and it seems it appears to have some sort of TO247. And you know, TO247 is around this size. It would be able to handle probably. You know, somewhere around 3,000 watts so uh, the output of this thing is limited to the input board and the fusing not as much as the output is which is usually the way they are um, you see here the, the lack of the, you know, the toroids and things like that on there and then we flip this guy over and there's also, I don't know if these are the same, but they are, you know, some sort of TO247. I know what these, I know that what these are because I've replaced, let me see here, I really like these inverters, so I got, you know, two other ones over here. Um, two of them I bought broke. One of them I bought brand new. But down in the... This one here's kind of got some short wires. This is the, you know, once again, the Syntec. And let's see if I can get a flashlight down in here. But, you know, so we got eight 30 amp fuses. And then you go over to the OSP. We got six 40 amp fuses. I don't know how well you can guys can actually see this stuff, but uh, I mean you can tell just by looking at these two that it is the same manufacturer. And uh, I also got into I got into an argument with somebody on on YouTube and uh, about branding. Basically, um, a guy Nolan R24 made a review of the OSP Tire Call versus an Ames inverter. And, you know, the OSP Tire Claw kicked the Ames Inverter's butt. But, 
just because I, I see cracks all the time on Ames and just because you know one Ames product may be bad that they also have probably several different third parties that they go to that may make their products and I owned an Ames inverter that was identical to these now I'm not saying that this is good quality this is not really it's kind of sloppy there's a lot of like things that's not glued the boards aren't sealed in any way uh, which it does say in the instruction booklet this is not a marine type or at least it does in the Syntec one this is not a marine type of uh, use um, it'd be great for probably a heated climate control room hooked to a solar panel but um you know it, it's just it's just kind of sloppy and I particularly like the design of the heat sinks even though it's a pain in the butt to get this thing apart um, you know like the output board hooks to the outside case and you know instead of the MOSFETs you know being connected to the outside case here they have their own heat sink but I kind of like it because you know you see here this fan is going to blow air directly around all sides of this inside and out you know, then you got two fans that's kind of directing air, even though this one here just kind of, you know, well, it's upside down. But it blows air directly down on top. But at the same time, all that air is being cycled. You know, so I, I kind of like the design, even though it's, it's kind of hard to work on and get apart. But as far as the, like, back to the branding thing, um, like, you know, just like... The same third party made both of these, and you know it. The you know Ames. I know Ames for a fact used this third party because I owned an Ames inverter made just like these, and it actually was bigger. And what was kind of interesting is, is you know this is 2,000 watt rated. The Ames was rated at 1,800 watts. It had eight of these in here, eight of these transformers. Um, it appeared to have the same output board, and you know it, it was all it was fused for 2,400 watts. So, you know, it would actually bell comfortably do its 1,800 no problem. Um, this guy here, probably once it got up to around 1,500 watts, it probably start getting ugly. You know, your sine wave and uh, voltage drop, things like that. But I really like these. Um, they run fluorescent lights really well. That's what kind of what got me to them. I owned a Xantrex. Uh, actually, it was a Moto Master, but it was the same thing. It says Xantrex on the board. And I couldn't use that thing for anything. I, it didn't want to run my grinder. It didn't like inductive stuff at all. And I got this, and I can run... It even runs a... This thing runs a microwave pretty well. Um, fans. Um, I have several other inverters as well. Um, a Black and Decker, a couple of Schumachers, and for modified sine wave, this isn't too bad as far as I, I don't have an oscilloscope. You know, can I get the uh, to see what the waveform's like or how much harmonic distortion there is? But I would say I've kind of seen less harmonic distortion in this than I have some other ones. Um, one of the things I kind of think about this is, is that, you know, now we're back over to the OSP, but for all the more that's in this thing that makes it sine wave, you know, um, you can see on Nolanar's channel, um, this thing is around 5% harmonic distortion. Well, this guy over here could be somewhere between 25 and 40. Um, there's not much extra components in here. I mean, I hate to see it keep bending this around, but, you know, um, I'm not even really seeing extra ICs in here too much. I mean, it's just, I think, and yeah, there's a, probably a couple more on here, but one less on the, on the input board. These toroids. 
Uh, these capacitor things here. I mean, other than that, I mean, for an extra 50 cents, I mean, you can get something way better. I think that it's going to actually kind of come down to like a competition thing to start really getting this stuff to take off. So, alright, well, I thought I'd show you guys this. Um, but, yeah. Alright, well, I'll catch you guys later.